So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to another video for MongoDB aggregation framework in which we're going to see the second operator called match in MongoDB. So match pretty much works just like you would expect how find would work. But the only thing is that in aggregation framework, you can have multiple matches again and again, um, different at different places in the pipeline. So you get that particular advantage. So if you write match framework, you're going to write something like this. So you're going to start off with match and I'm going to say what condition you want to match it on. So I want to match every um, user with age, for example, 18, right? And I'm going to run this. So you see when I run this, we get Alex who has the age 18 and April who has the age 18 and we do not get any other record. Plus you see that match actually returns us the whole document. So there's that. Let's say um, if I want to match all the users who have JavaScript as your language, just like you can do with um, find, you can actually write um, conditions for arrays directly as well. So even though languages is not a string, you can still write it as it is and Mongo would make sure that it scans the array for JavaScript and return only the documents which actually contains JavaScript as the array, as the array value. So if I run this, you're going to see that we do not get any other document which does not contain JavaScript as the language, right? So we have Mehul and Alex, which is returned right here. So yeah, that's that's basically it for the match part. And it is much more powerful when combined with other operators. But we're going to so soon see how it works with other operators. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then in the next one.